What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the iPad, as you can see we have it in front of us. And the topic is how you can make sure that the iPad doesn't move, that a screen doesn't literally move on your iPad. Now, there are multiple different approaches or things you can mean by that. I'm going to begin with the first one, and the first one is screen orientation. In case you want to make sure that when you flip the iPad like this, that the iPad does not rotate or that it doesn't do anything, in this case, what you can do is to simply disable the orientation. You can do it very easily by swiping down from the upper left corner, upper right actually, and you get to the control center. And in this case, you have a section in here which you can see like a couple of buttons. The buttons at the bottom can be customized using the like the flashlight and the other stuff can be reorganized, removed, but the first section cannot be customized. So every single user is gonna have it. And one of the buttons is the screen lock you click on this when the button is white it means that it is activated it just means that the button is clicked and in that case when i rotate my ipad right now it's not going to move the screen so when i flip it like this nothing's going to happen my ipad just stays in place doesn't move around so this may be something that you wanted to see how you can how you can set up however a different approach would be to make sure that the ipad doesn't move Without, whenever you, for example, click on it, perhaps you have a child and you want the, you want them to use the iPad, but not click it, not go away, not just mess around with it. Let's say just watch a content or something. In that case, you, what you can do is to use the guided access feature. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Guided access can be seen or found inside of the settings. When you go to the accessibility section inside of the settings, you're going to be able to find it somewhere at the bottom. So you can see guided access. You can see get the guided access keeps the iPad inside of the single app and it allows you to control which features are available. Perhaps you can disable the touch, you can disable some other things. So you can just stay inside of the app and not let anyone click it or do anything with it. So in case you don't have it turned on, make sure that you enable it. And now you can come back to the main accessibility section, tap on accessibility shortcut, which is right under the guided access and disable, for example, everything else besides guided access. So make sure that when you triple click the, the button on your iPad, you, you will get to the guided access. So when I triple click it like this, I should be able to get inside of the guided access and that way I can lock the iPad and play around with the settings to make sure that I can stay only within one app. Basically, this is what guided access is for. You can also set up a passcode. As you can notice in here, you also have the option for the passcode so you can use Face ID to get outside of that. So you can lock your iPad for someone else to use, but not let them get outside of that app or click the screen or whatever you decide is gonna happen. So that's how it works. That's basically what I wanted to explain to you. So these two options, either screen rotation or the guided access are probably the things that you are looking for. So I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found this video useful. In case you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up under it, but definitely subscribe on by clicking on the button down below to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. And that way you will never miss future uploads and future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.